approximately 65% of men uh, make their own investment decisions. Uh, well, when it comes to women, it's just about a little over 40%, so about 43 to 44%. Uh, however, uh, as women emerge as wealth creators, the future of investing uh, to our mind will undergo a significant change. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Lakshmi. Uh, I have been uh, with the Kota Group for over 24 years now. This is my uh, silver year, I would say 25th year with Kota uh, Group. At the current juncture, I oversee investments and strategy for Kotak Alternate Asset Managers. I've been in this role for a little over 15 months, uh, but over the past 22 years, uh, prior to this, uh, I was the CIO at Kotak uh, Asset Management overseeing the entire fixed income and the hybrid piece. Uh, in my current role, I uh, oversee the entire investment advisory solutions, uh, which pans across all asset classes, alternates, uh, fixed income, equities, uh, annuity solutions like REITs, INVITs, uh, anything from uh, pin to penthouse of financial planning and asset allocation, uh, that's what uh, my work encompasses. I was the only woman in the dealing room. I started off in research, uh, tracking the bond markets in India. And uh, into this role today, I can say I may not be the only woman in the boardroom. Uh, the trend has really changed for the better uh, in a male dominated world where, you know, financial services and the perception that women are not really great with numbers. I think we have traversed a long way in that journey. But uh, still, my, my own instinct says we're still at the tip of the iceberg because women are multitaskers and they can genuinely do it. It's that little bit of initiation which they should put ahead of that intimidation. I think that's the journey that uh, I have traversed over the past 25 years. So the fact that uh, you know, there are many, many wo more women who are involved in this wealth creation journey. What we see is that there is that intention of women to be more involved in the decision making. I think that's a, I would say, monumental shift that we have seen over the past few years where uh, they were very happy that uh, they may or may not necessarily be part of the decision making process. I think that's a very, very fundamental shift. I think women bring IQ plus EQ to the table and I think that's a very lethal combination when it comes to managing money and creating wealth for your own self or for the society at large and I think the world of investing in the future also is going to be defined by a combination of these two factors which allow you to compartmentalize your investments in multiple pockets help you diversify your entire basket and make that entire journey of wealth creation a very happy one. Stories, I think uh, stories is something which uh, the larger population relates to and uh, every time uh, when I interact or socialize with uh, women folk and I love doing that because uh, uh, my giving to the society is more women be equipped, uh, I would say with the astra of financial uh, you know, investments or financial independence. Ask questions and the more you ask, the more you learn. And I think women are coming to the fore to ask more questions and in that process, making much more informed decisions. So I don't know if the audience, uh, you know, any of you all have seen this movie Gunjan Saxena, The Kargil Girl and in that there's this very potent dialogue which stays with me even now. Jab plane ko farak nahi padta, usse kaun uda raha hai, tumhe kyu farak padta hai? So I think the world of investments uh, or for that matter any world is very very gender agnostic. It's just human biases which tend to condition it as male or female. Uh, if you google uh, top chefs in the country, the first two names would be male. If you, uh, you know, Google top sports women or sports person, uh, the top two or three names or the top five names will have at least two women. So it's actually gender agnostic. Akhare may be ladkiya hai and uh, the kitchen also has men. So I think, uh, think beyond gender, take charge, make uh, financial independence your new sthridhan as I call it. That is your powerful Brahmastra.